Me to Iguana. Iguana had a lovely green color and a long bumpy tail and an apartment and a balcony with a tree growing on it. But Iguana wasn't satisfied with her lovely green color or her long bumpy tail or anything else she had. Whatever anybody else had, she wanted too. At the supermarket, Iguana saw Elephant, the manager, lifting cans of soup with her trunk. A trunk, cried Iguana. Me too, me too. I want a trunk too. So Iguana went home and cut a piece of rubber hose. She painted it gray and tied it to her nose. Good, said Iguana. Now I have a trunk too. At the barber shop, Iguana saw Lion getting his mane trimmed. A mane! cried Iguana. Me too, me too. I want a mane too. So Iguana went home and stuck a lot of thick yellow wool all over her head. Good, said Iguana. Now I have a trunk and a mane too. At the car wash, Iguana watched Zebra taking a shower. His black and white stripes gleamed in the sunlight. Stripes, cried Iguana. Me too, me too. I want stripes too. So Iguana went home to make stripes. On the way, Iguana saw Goose taking a nap. Her feathers were flapping in the breeze. Feathers, cried Iguana. Me too, me too. I want feathers too. So Iguana went home to make stripes like zebra and feathers like Goose. First, she opened two jars of paint. She took a wide brush and painted stripes on her sides. Then she shook the feathers out of an old pillow and glued them on her back. Good, said Iguana. Now I have a trunk and a mane and stripes and feathers too. Everybody wondered what Iguana was doing. Why was she imitating them? Oh, worried Walrus, this could get to be a problem. At the post office, Stork was flying in with the airmail delivery. Flying, cried Iguana. Me too, me too. I want to fly too. So she went home to figure out how to make wings. Oh, this is a problem, said Walrus. Iguana can't fly. She'll hurt herself. Everybody agreed. This me too business had to stop before it was too late. But how? Why would a nice iguana with a lovely green collar and a long bumpy tail want a trunk and mane and stripes and all the rest? asked Lion. Why? everybody wondered. Because, said Zebra, she must think that a trunk and mane and stripes and all the rest are better. But how do we stop her? wondered Elephant. That's a good question, said Stork. Everybody thought and whispered and scratched heads. Finally, they had a plan. They wrote a letter. Stork dropped the letter on Iguana's balcony. Everybody come to a costume party at the playground, it said. All costumes must be kept secret. No talking about them. Iguana forgot all about wanting to fly. A costume party, she cried. Me too, me too. Everybody will be there. I'll be there too. But what will I do for a costume, she cried. I want to wear what everybody else is wearing, too. When it was time for the party, Iguana still didn't have a costume. She sneaked into the playground and hid behind a tree. In the distance, behind the swings, she saw a flash of green. Near the jungle gym, she saw another flash of green. By the fountains, a flash of green. What was going on? Oh, nobody has a trunk cried Iguana. Quickly, she took off her trunk. Oh, nobody has a mane, she cried. She pulled off her mane. Oh, nobody has stripes. Nobody has feathers. Iguana wiped off the stripes and pulled off the feathers. Then she moved closer to get a better look. Everybody's costume was a lovely green color. Everybody had a long bumpy tail. Everybody was dressed as an iguana. Come join the party, they called. You're dressed perfectly. But I'm not wearing a costume, cried Iguana. This is just plain me. Then Stork said, 
There's a prize for the best iguana, and the prize goes to... He turned slowly around. The prize goes to... Iguana! You have the loveliest greenest color, smiled Stork. You have the longest bumpiest tail. Congratulations! We all think you're wonderful just the way you are. Yes, said Iguana, very surprised. I do too!